Next up in the Fenske Underwood Gillen shortcut method, we have the Underwood equations. We're going to use the Underwood equations to find the minimum reflux ratio for a desired split. Here we have the first Underwood equation 1 minus Q equals the summation of the relative volatility times the mole fractions of species I and feed divided by relative volatility of species I minus the variable theta. The first equation will be solved for variable theta. Okay. Now keep in mind that Q is the feed quality which is defined as the enthalpy of saturated vapor minus the enthalpy of feed. The saturated vapor having the same composition as the feed mixture divided by the enthalpy of saturated vapor mixture minus enthalpy of saturated liquid. So according to this equation, the value of Q will be 1 if your feed is saturated liquid. And the value of Q is going to be 0 if the feed is saturated vapor. And depending on whether you have a subcooled or superheated feed, you can find the cal uh, you can calculate the value of Q if you know the enthalpy of the. So once you've found the value of theta using the first Underwood equation, you're gonna use this value in the second Underwood equation to find the minimum reflux ratio. Notice how we have the compositions in the distillate. So in order to use the Underwood equations, you need to have already calculated the splits using the Fenske. Um, as you can see, both of these equations are highly nonlinear, and it's going to be a pain to solve both of them by hand. So I'm going to use Excel for this example that I'm going to do next. And also one keynote, there are going to be multiple values of theta that satisfy both equations so the value of theta that you want to pick must be between 1 and the relative volatility of the light key with respect to the heavy key so this is the value of theta that you want to work with here I have once again the uh, hydrocarbon equimolar hydrocarbon separation that we were doing earlier I found all these splits using the uh, Fenske equation and we have our splits and I'm going to solve this problem for a saturated liquid feed meaning my incoming Q is going to be equal to 1. So now let's over, head over to the uh, Excel workbook that I've created. So propane, butane, pentane, hexane, propane and hexane, propane, butane being the light key, heavy key split. So I have 25 moles incoming and the mole fraction can be found by dividing by the sum of flow rates. Let me make that absolute reference. let's just drag it down <laughs> the distillate compositions were found to be 23.75 for this one 21.25 0 0.0053 and 0 0.0003 so once again you can find the mole fraction of the distillate by dividing the uh, flow rate of species by the total flow rate. Okay, and the uh, relative volatilities were found earlier. So the relative volatility of propane with respect to butane was found to be 3.38. Relative volatility of butane with respect to butane will be 1. 0 0.308. Let me just confirm these real quick. 
okay, zero, 0.323 and 0 0.109. And 0 0.1. So just a reminder that these, uh, the relative volatilities are just fine, found by using the, uh, by taking the ratio of the saturation pressures at the feed temperature. Um, our value of Q, since we're assuming the feed is saturated liquid, is going to be 1. And we're just going to put, uh, theta is the variable that we're going to solve for, so I'm just going to put an initial guess of 1.1. Okay, what else do we, now we need the, okay, now we need um, this term, and yeah, now we need this term to find the value of theta. So I'm just gonna do that real quick. It's gonna be, uh, I'll just call that the left-hand side of the equation. And this is gonna be alpha i times the mole fraction in feed divided by alpha i minus theta. And theta has to be the absolute reference. And now I'm just gonna drag that down and take the sum of it. Okay. All right. So my Underwood equation is going to be my right hand side, which is going to be one minus Q minus the uh, sum of the left hand sides. So now I just want to turn this objective block, this objective cell to zero, but either using goal seek or solver. I'm just going to use solver value of zero by, yeah, that's the objective function by varying theta. Okay, so I just want to check. Um, the value of theta must be between the relative volatility of light key and one. So our value of theta falls within the range. Now, for the second Underwood equation, we need to find uh, these terms, the relative volatilities multiplied by the mole fraction in the distillate. So once again, relative volatility multiplied by the mole fraction in the distillate divided by relative volatility minus the value of theta. Value of theta once again being the absolute reference. Take the sum of that. drag it down and sum it okay okay so our the minimum reflux ratio is just gonna be this left hand side minus one so yeah I've just like found this entire summation by summing up the values of the cells and I'm gonna subtract one to find the minimum reflux ratio so the minimum reflux ratio turns out to be 0 0.747 for this for this separation. Now earlier we found the minimum number of stages using Fensky. Uh, using the uh, Underwood equation we found the minimum reflux ratio. Now once you have these two parameters you can use the Gillen correlation to find the number of stages at a given reflux ratio.